How's it going? My name's Teddy Geiger, and tonight I'm playing The Red Room at Cafe 939. I don't know, I'd say I could just go back to the 90s, <laughs> or, or like, probably, I'd say probably the 70s, ideally. Yeah. Been eating like Oreos. Like, uh, I'll eat like a whole row of one of the things of Oreos at night, and then I'll, you know, subsequently do the same with the rest. But I've been bad, I've been, I've been cooling off on Oreos, I think. <laughs> but that's a big one. I don't know, I really like when it's like a, like a thunderstorm is, is pretty good. Like a nice, loud, lots of rain coming down thunderstorm, I would say, as a sound or noise. A lot of things. I don't love... Loud sirens are pretty bad because they, like, destroy your ear. A lot of people... I mean, everyone I work with inspires me to kind of keep pushing and, like, get better and write, especially if they're, they're good. And even if they're... Even if someone's not very good, if they're still trying and they're working at it and they're getting better and like just seeing that process is always inspiring and I feel like there's a story there that always like touches my heart, I guess. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid I always wanted to be an electrical engineer because that's what my dad was, but I don't know. My mom was a teacher, and I always thought maybe something with teaching or psychology or that, that stuff always kind of interests me also. I bring recording gear. I have some recording gear in my bag. That, I guess, that's it. I don't know if no one's heard of them, but there's a band Beach House that's like mildly popular. But they're really good. I really like them. And um, there's also a band Dr. Dog that's like another mildly popular, like more indie band that's pretty good. I like a lot of their stuff. That Old Black Hole is one of their songs that's pretty good. Um, just being incredibly nervous. And there were only like, it was like my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, and like one of my friends at this coffee shop. And I was so nervous. And like occasionally someone would come in to buy coffee and I'd be like, oh my God, what do they think? What do they think? They're not even, like, they're just going in to get coffee. They're like, oh, some guy's playing guitar. I'm getting my coffee on. But I'm like, what do they think of me? What's going on? I'm so terrified. Do you have any pre-show rituals? Um, I end up doing like a lot of stretching, like a lot of this, because I start to get nervous and then I get tense and then I just start like <sighs> pacing, running around, stretching. I've been doing it all day. <laughs> it's already started.